Hi everybody, Brian Davis and Danny Davis. We're inside Moncrief today where Texas has just wrapped up their 2018 recruiting class. National Signing Day is always fun, but Danny, I think the Longhorns had a lot of fun today. They, they close with a tremendous, tremendous finish, picking up one of the state's best running backs in Keontae Ingram, one of the state's best defensive linemen in Keandre Coburn, several more defensive players. Overall, the third best recruiting class in America. This looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, a lot of the work was done in December. They got, uh, mm -hmm. you know, 19 of these names checked. They checked those boxes in the early signing period, but they didn't have any defensive linemen in December, and they picked they up. Not. They picked a good handful uh, today with, you know, Corbin, Joseph Asagas, he's a linebacker, Mike Williams, an athlete. Some people may think he's a quarterback if they see his film, but he'll be on their defensive line. So they got some athletes for the defensive defensive line. Um, so they may not play immediately because of some of the seniors they have coming back, but they got some help in the middle. They got some depth. Good, A good day for... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Coach Tom Herman, Todd Orlando, uh, Oscar Giles, uh, the defensive staff there. Yeah, absolutely. And it was very apparent. It was a big reminder, I thought, earlier this week how they needed more defensive help when all the when there were six players announced that made it to the NFL Combine. Mm -hmm. They were all the defensive underclassmen. Malik, Deshaun, Holton Hill. Well, a pun a punter. Right. And there was a punter. Don't, and there was a punter, the punter. Right? He's part of the defense as well. But to pick up Moro Ajomo was big. Joseph Asai, the linebacker you mentioned. Just these are names that were on everyone's radar, right? That's the main thing. Texas and Texas A&M were, were in head-to-head -head battles with several of these players down the stretch. Daniel Carson, another kid who I think is going to be worth watching as time goes on. All of these defensive guys, the line, defensive linemen, need to come in and make an impact immediately. Yeah. I think. And offensively, you know, you get a guy like Jordan Moore who, mm -hmm. who may end up on defense if they need some help in the secondary, though. I don't think with the class they got, they're going to need many, much help in the secondary. <laughs> right. But, you know, he's, he, he could be a slot receiver. And with today's news that Reggie Hempel maps is moving on, you know, he may you know, get some playing time sooner rather than later. So they got some in impact players, not, not a huge class, not what we're used to seeing in February, but when you sign uh, 19 kids in December, you don't need to have a, you know, an A&M-like finish uh, to your signing class. But they wrapped a bow on it, looks good, and I think, I think the Texas fans are going to be celebrating tonight. They probably should. Let's talk about some other quick things going forward. Spring football practice will start March 20th. And go ahead and put this on your calendar. The spring game will be April 21st at Royal Memorial Stadium. The most interesting thing, Danny, today was Tom Herman thinking about calling plays next season. Yeah, it could be interesting. I mean, you're going to have some question marks with you know, Herb Hand, Tim Beck, uh, Drew Manager. All have play, all have play calling experience, but as is Tom Herman. So we'll have to see what happens in the spring and see who's calling those plays once Maryland uh, that game kicks off in Maryland. Absolutely, lots to talk about, but we have to wrap it up here. Stay with Hook'em.com for all the Texas recruiting coverage and get ready for spring football. For Danny, I'm Brian. We'll see you later.